Hello everyone. We will continue the topic SAP ABAP new syntax and we are covering the new features of Open SQL. And as a part of that, we discussed that we can use the aggregate functions in the query itself. So firstly, I showed you if we don't know the new, new features of Open SQL, how we are doing through collect statement, you can use the control break statements. Now, after that, I simply, simply have, a, I simply have written the query by using the new features of Open SQL. Now, I made some of this particular amount column. Now, whatever the columns on which you are not specifying the aggregate function or you are not applying, they must be specified using group by clause. And whatever the columns on which you specified, we need to create a alias for the same. So firstly, we will verify the output. We will understand in that debugging mode, are we getting a expected output or not? Then I will go for simply extending of this. I will put a break. I will run this program. Suppose I am going for 20th August to 22nd August. I will go for execute. Now we will verify the result through table also. Suppose I will firstly go for 22nd August. Okay, suppose 20th August first, one by one we will check. For 20th August, it should be 1,5,000. Now, in this query itself, we have done everything whatever is required. We bought or we simply, simply bring everything from that database or whatever is the expected output, we simply bring everything. I am doing F6. If I will show you the internal table, we have three records. For 20th August, it is 1,5,000. 20th August, 1,5,000, perfectly fine. Now I will go for 21st August. This we are very fine that we applied aggregate function. So are we getting the right result? 21st August, 0. 21st August, 0. 21st August, 0. 22nd August, it's 1,000. 22nd August, it is 1000. Okay, it is 1000. Are we getting the expected result? Yes. Now we are simply, simply displaying the result. So we got the expected result. Just see, the role of application layer is nothing. You have not done everything onto the application layer. Previously, you applied the collect statement onto the application layer. Now, from that database itself, we are bringing everything, whatever is required. Now, so many people are asking, as of now, you took one column. Can you take one more column and show that how we can make some? So, I will take one more column. Suppose I will take VB type. So, what is VB type? Sales document category. Suppose if I will show you in that table, I'm going for this VB type also. VB type. Now you will get more clarity. I am applying this aggregate function on the amount column. But in group by, I have not specified VB type. So I will get the error now. I will go for syntax check. Have you seen? I am getting an error that VB type must be specified in group by clause. Now you are getting the clarity. So the fields which you are not specifying in the field, the fields on which you are not applying the aggregate function, they must be specified using group by clause. Now I will simply, simply go for VB type. So it will make some of amount based upon these two columns. Previously, it made some of the amount based upon ER data. 
now it will made some based upon these two columns i will show you now the output will change just see now if i will simply go for data first suppose i am going for date suppose 20th august okay so for 20th august okay everything is see will not take this suppose i will go for 21st august okay it's only one record i just want a test case in which we have different sales document category also okay this is perfectly fine now have you seen previously what was the result if we are going for date 22nd so we are getting the result 1000 it made some of this based upon date now we need to make some based upon er dat and bb type now just see how the result will be we will get two records 22nd c 1000 22nd b 0 so it will make some of this anyways this is single record it will make some of these two records because in these two records the document category is b in that this particular record the document category is c so this will act as one group these two will belongs to one group date same this is date this is sales document category date sales document category this is date and this is sales document category now we will get two records in the result previously we have only one record suppose if i am not using bb type firstly i will show you without bb type for 22nd date only then i will apply bb type suppose i am going for 22nd august just see we have single record now i am going for two suppose i am going for bb type Now I will apply here also. I will go for activation. Now I will simply run. Okay, sorry, I forgot to put comma. In the new syntaxes, yes, I need to use comma. I will run. I will put 20 second. And you can see we have two records. 22nd, 0, 22nd, 1000. Okay, suppose I will display sales document category so that you will get more clarity. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. I will run. 22nd August. Now you can see B0, C1000. This is what we want. B0, C1000. Now you can see we apply this aggregate function sum on two different columns on the group by of two columns. So what is the summary of this particular video? Again, important from the project perspective. So in this video, firstly, I explained the output in that debugging mode. Then after that, what I did, rather than one column i took two columns so when i took the second column i got the error that you need to specify the second column in the group by clause also then i showed you now it will make some of this based upon two columns so the output will automatically change then i showed you by comparing with the data and we got the expected result now in the next video we will go for further enhancement of this. I will take a scenario and based upon that, we will go for further changes. So that's it in this video. Thank you.